music is a universal language. The music that we listen and the memories we hold makes up who we are. I'm JJ Chuan and I'm Ryan Rehyp. My team and I collect these card cassette tapes from local community and we weave it into pieces of cloth. We call it music cloth in an effort to reduce and eliminate plastic waste. Cassette tape was part of the medium of communication with my best friend who moved to Australia. Back then, uh, social media were not invented yet and international phone call was very expensive. We come up with a solution to record what we want to say uh, our favourite music in a cassette tape form and send it to each other. When I studied in person, my lecturer brought me to this library called Material Connection Library. They source innovative material from all over the world. So big brands like Adidas, Puma, they will go to this library to source for innovative material. I was really impressed by this library and I could even like stay the whole day in this library just to touch and feel the material. I did a fellowship with a sustainable designer called Yoli. She focused on zero waste. I was really inspired by what she is doing, sustainable fashions and also locally made products. When I came back from New York in 2016, I found a box of cassette tape in my storerooms. It is part of my memory, so I am not going to throw it away. So because I'm from a fashion design background, cassette tapes to me, the tape itself, it looks like a yarn. I have tried embroidery knitting, but it doesn't work out. So the final outcome is uh, using the weaving technique. According to MIT Press report, there are 56 million kilograms of plastic were used to make physical cassette tape since it first introduced to the world in 1963. It's non-biodegradable. So by creating a new material, we can create a lot of different products. When we first started, the challenge that we faced is collecting cassette tapes. We are very lucky to get a lot of press released from the media and a lot of auntie uncle, they will donate the cassette tape to me so we don't buy cassette tapes. So we started to combine the VHS uh, with the cassette tapes and the mini DV tapes to have different combinations and the color tone is also very unique and different. After two years of weaving the music club, we have a lot of empty tapes left over. So we started to think, what should we do with these empty tapes? We come up with this idea to let customers customize their tweet in a tape. We call it tweet tapes. So the mini DV tapes, after we finish using the tape inside, we make it into pendants and also necklace. We combine sorbiscuit crystals in our design. Basically, try to upcycle every single part of the cassette tapes and the mini DV tapes. Cassette tape sales worldwide went up by 33% in 2020 compared to 2019. So the reason is because people find joy uh, with holding a physical copy of the music. Uh, nostalgia's products can bring uh, people comfort and also joy during the pandemic time. In Rehyphen, we reframing how people see ways. We want people to have a complete uh, music club experience from donating the cassette tape to us to join our Ready Cassette Girl workshops by learning how to weave these current cassette tapes. So we encourage the uh, public to see ways in a different way through our music club experience and products.